Hi, thank you for watching my video, let's start by focusing on God Jesus Christ and on his wish for us all, his followers, we must get rid, and discard the Old Testament, as we should discard every violence and every human abuse of any form and magnitude, we must develop and practice zero tolerance against psychopaths wherever they are, who they are, what status and position they are in. Hope. It's a simple word, weighing little on the tongue, yet carrying immense power. It's the firefly flickering in the darkest night, the compass guiding through uncharted territory, the invisible thread that binds us to a brighter tomorrow. To deprive someone of hope, then, is to extinguish that vital spark, leaving them adrift in the ocean of despair. Think about the statement of Klaus Schwab you will own nothing and you will be happy how does this resonate with you? How do you imagine this? What kind of future you can imagine? Consider the individual facing a seemingly insurmountable challenge, a mountain of debt, a devastating illness, or a fractured relationship and for too many, the working class people, psychopathic management and sick greedy CEO. In the face of such obstacles, hope becomes the lifeblood, the belief that things can change, that healing is possible, that love can be found again. To snatch away that belief is to condemn them to surrender, to sink beneath the weight of their burdens. Yet, the act of depriving someone of hope isn't always overt. It can manifest in subtle ways, the dismissive shrug, the cynical sneer, the words it's impossible uttered with careless ease. Each of these actions chips away at the foundation of hope, leaving the individual feeling unseen, unheard, and ultimately, alone. This isn't to say that we should indulge in false hope, offering empty platitudes and unrealistic promises. True compassion lies not in sugarcoating reality, but in acknowledging the difficult truth while simultaneously holding onto the possibility of a better future. It's about offering empathy and understanding, a shoulder to lean on, a hand to hold through the storm. Remember, hope isn't just about achieving a desired outcome, it's about the strength to weather the journey. It's the belief that even in the face of hardship, we have the resilience to overcome, the courage to adapt, and the spirit to persevere. When we nurture hope in others, we empower them to tap into their own inner strength, to discover the resources they possess to navigate their own challenges. Furthermore, fostering hope isn't just an act of kindness, it's an investment in a better future. When individuals believe in themselves and their potential, they are more likely to contribute positively to their communities, fostering innovation, creativity, and progress. Conversely, a society devoid of hope breeds cynicism, apathy, and ultimately, stagnation. Therefore, let us be the guardians of hope, in our words, in our actions, in our very presence. Let us offer encouragement instead of doubt, compassion instead of judgment, and a hand up instead of a pushdown. For it is in nurturing the fragile flame of hope within others that we truly illuminate the path forward, for ourselves and for the world around us. Remember, even the smallest spark can ignite a roaring fire. Let us be the ones who spark the flames of hope, for it might be all someone has, and it might be all they need. I don't want to end with no practical solutions for some of the issues first for the financial problems educate yourself about the fair tax at fairtax.org and at congress.govh.r.25 Fair Tax Act of 2023 Let's all send this to our representative and senators postcard, email, phone, social media. Every day. Till we'll pass. And then all of us, will have approximately 40%, immediately, more money in our pockets and this will reduce lots of problems, that plague society, right now. Let's do it. Be consistent and repetitive. If you like my video, feel free to comment, I appreciate you, God bless you.